Natural living is important and so is living within your means. and today I am doing a video talking about natural body products and not only that but how to get them affordably. If you have ever tried to shop for natural body products in most stores or boutiques or online, they are very very pricey. They are oftentimes very similar in price to like really high-end cosmetics and that kind of thing and in my journey towards more natural living, my general attitude in the past has been with body products, I don't worry as much about what I put on my body as what I put in my body. So, you know, I, I really care a lot about eating clean, real, organic food when possible um, because I'm literally putting it inside of my body. But I have worried less about, you know, what's going on in my skin. Obviously things are absorbed into your skin and it is important, but for the sake of saving money since natural body products are so expensive, that's one place where in the past I've really focused more on getting more conventional products. But lately I have been really thinking about how I would like to move more towards using natural products because it is true that things especially that sit on your skin all day long, they do get absorbed a little bit into your bloodstream and they do get inside of your body. And so I have been thinking more about that lately and, and trying to move towards more natural body products as well. And it's a slow progression. I still use conventional shampoo and some hair products and I actually did a whole video talking about my curly hair actually and how I've come to terms with my curly hair and how I love it now and what my routine is for how I take care of it and if you're interested in seeing that and how I style it I will link that in the cards here so that's one product that I've kind of stuck with more conventional things things that I'm just washing out rinsing out in the shower um, they aren't sticking there might be some residue but it's not like you know a lotion or you know a deodorant or something that you are putting on your skin and leaving there for 24 hours you know what I'm saying so those are the things that I have really been trying to focus on getting more natural. Although I still haven't found natural makeup that I'm satisfied with, but that's a story for another day. But all that is just to give you background where I'm coming from in talking about the products that I'm going to mention today. So in all of my research and all of my continual shopping over time, I have found a few very core natural body products that are just very essential part of my routine, very basic items, not over the top, um, and I have found a way to do it very affordably. So this is very much in line with my mission that natural living is important and so is living within your means, and those things don't have to cancel each other out. You can live a healthy lifestyle and still live within your means and get these natural products affordably. So that being said, I'm going to show you five products that I use that are my essential favorite affordable natural body products. And then I will share with you a tip that I kind of came up with for how to find natural body products in general a little more affordably. So first of all, coconut oil. I am sure that if any of you have done any sort of research, reading, watching YouTube videos, anything talking about natural living, everybody in the natural world talks about coconut oil and how amazing it is. And it really is. Like if I could, if I just had to narrow it down to one natural body product, this would be the number one. <laughs> it is so versatile. It is so good for you. You can eat it. I cook with this stuff. I put it on my body. I put it on my babies. <laughs> um, it is is amazing. I love my coconut oil and I just keep mine in a smaller mason jar. Um, this is the one I keep in my bathroom um, because I buy the huge Costco size organic unrefined coconut oil from Costco and then I just divvy it into smaller mason jars to use around the house. So this is the one that I keep in our master bathroom. I keep a little bowl of it on our changing table and I use it as diaper cream and I obviously keep it in our kitchen and I cook with it literally every single day. <laughs> so this stuff is amazing. I won't go into the details about why nutritionally this stuff is so good for you. Today I'll just talk about um, how to use it as a body product and why it's good for your skin and hair and all sorts of things. But 
do look into why it's good nutritionally too because it really is good stuff. So as for using this stuff as a body product, I don't think I even have time in this video to tell you all of the uses that you can use coconut oil for. It is so diverse. It is so amazing. <laughs> um, but I'll just give you a few ideas. I use it as a moisturizer. By itself, I find that it doesn't work great as like a, a body lotion or a face lotion by itself, um, but if I combine it with the lotion that I use, which I will show you, those things working together are deeply moisturizing. So just using it as a general moisturizer, it is amazing. You can use it to remove makeup extremely effectively. You can use coconut oil for most of the things you would use Vaseline for. I often just put it on my lips if I need quick lip balm. Um, you can actually do a deep conditioning of your hair with coconut oil. I haven't actually tried it, but I hear it's really effective effective and just deeply moisturizing dried out hair. You can use it as a base for making your own natural beauty products, which is another way to save money is making them yourself and using essential oils. Coconut oil is an awesome carrier oil for when you're diluting essential oils and using them on your body. I just, I use this stuff for everything. What else do I use it for? Like if I have a cold, I will use it, you know, if my nose gets kind of chapped, it's kind of a weird one. If my ears get itchy, I'll like put it in my ears and it helps. You can put it on like calloused feet and elbows. I mean, just anything that you would use a moisturizer for. So I know there are like 10 zillion other things that you can use this for as a body product, but those are some of the main things I use it for. So if I had to narrow it all down to just one natural body product that is affordable, this would be it. You know, like I mentioned, I get the giant thing of it at Costco, the organic unrefined. It comes in like a pack of two jars and I think that those together are like 20 bucks or something like that and that amount of coconut oil lasts me like well over six months so I mean $20 spread over six months like that's nothing and this stuff can be used for everything <laughs> and as you can see we've been getting hot weather because when it gets hot it gets to be in a liquid state and when it's cooler it's in a solid state. I always joke you can tell that you're a crunchy mama when you can tell the weather by looking at your coconut oil. <laughs> All right so second essential natural body product favorite is this Kiss My Face olive oil based soap. I have been experimenting for the last year or so trying to find a natural soap that I like. I had just been using like the really cheap like Ivory or Dove you know body bars before but I was finding that you know it was a little bit irritating to my skin and really dried out my skin and you know that was one of those things that I was okay with using conventionally just because I'm washing it off but the fact that it was irritating my skin a little bit really prompted me to really want to find a natural soap that works for me that is affordable so I went to several places I went to Fred Meyer I went to the food co-op where we shop I went to super supplements I've you know I've tried getting soaps from all these different places and um, they are really expensive just for a bar of soap like the average you know natural bar of soap is like five or six dollars just for one bar of soap and you know they're generally like smaller bars of soap too. And so finally I came across this one, the Kiss My Face. It was by far the most affordable natural product. Cost-wise this bar I believe was four dollars but it's huge. I don't know if you can see how thick it is. It's about the size of like two normal bars of soap spliced together. So it's basically almost like getting two dollars per bar which when you're comparing it to like super cheap stuff like ivory that's like you know 20 cents a bar or whatever it's still more expensive than that, but in terms of natural products, $4 for a bar of soap that's the size of two bars of soap, I feel like that's a really good deal that you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. And I just love how simple it is too. Even with the other natural soaps, you know, that had really good ingredients, there were a lot of ingredients. And this one is just so simple. Um, you can just get the plain olive oil one, which just has olive oil and water and sodium chloride, which is table salt. But I recently noticed that they had a lavender scented one, which is exactly the same price as the non-scented olive one. And so I got that one because I love the scent of lavender. And they just add lavender essential oil to perfume it and that is it. So it's like four ingredients in this bar. You really can't go wrong with this thing. It's cheap, it's natural, it's simple, it's good for you, and it smells 
especially this one smells really nice. So this is my new go-to soap that I just use in the shower. So I definitely recommend this one as my number two go-to affordable body product. The third product I'm gonna talk about is lotion. And let me tell you, I have been on a journey the last year or so trying to find a natural lotion that is just not through the roof expensive. And it has been really hard because like natural and organic lotions, they, I mean, it is, it's a racket how expensive they are. It's really ridiculous. You know, with a lot of these products that I was looking at on the shelves, it was like you'd get 10 ounces for 10 bucks kind of thing, like ridiculously high prices. So one time when I was without my kids and I had time to browse, I went to our food co-op and I just looked at all of their lotions and I did price comparisons and, and tried to find the best bang for my buck in terms of lotion. And this is the one that I came across and the brand is called Alafia. I think that's how you pronounce it, Alafia. And they had three different varieties, one for like normal skin, one for dry skin, and one that was like different scent or something like that. And I believe that it was 11 or $12 for this whole thing, which is 32 ounces. So compared to all of the other natural lotions I was looking at, this was a screaming deal. 32 ounces lasts a long time. This lasts me several months. So I thought I'd give it a try. I tried the one for regular skin first, but that really just was not moisturizing enough for me. So I got the Purely Coconut one, which is coconut oil based, um, and it has a little bit more moisture for dry skin, which I tend to have. So like I mentioned before, I actually combined my actual coconut oil with my lotion as a body lotion when I get out of the shower and these two combined is really effective at being really moisturizing and using them together um, really makes it absorb well into my skin whereas when I just use this by myself it's not quite moisturizing enough and if I use just this by itself it's too oily and kind of sits on my skin doesn't absorb enough but when I use them together like this is my silver bullet and it is affordable it both of these things, using them together, it goes a really long way, lasts a long time, you get a ton of bang for your buck. So I have, this has been my solution and I am very, very satisfied with it. If you guys have been watching for a while, you probably saw that I did a review on natural deodorant and whether it works. And at that time, when I did that review, it was several, several months ago, I had come to the conclusion that my favorite natural deodorant was Primal Pit Paste. And if you wanna see my review on that, I will link it here in the cards. And I do love my Primal Pit Paste. <laughs> it really is effective, but I have had some continued irritation um, if I'm not really careful about using it with coconut oil, actually, um, because it's really thick and tacky and just kind of um, irritates like the follicles in my armpits. And if I'm really good about, you know, putting a, a layer of coconut oil on first, then it's good. I don't always have time to do that. And sometimes I just put it on and then it irritates my armpits. When I put that video up, a lot of you guys, a lot of my subscribers um, talked about this crystal deodorant. And I was like, okay, well, once I'm out of my primal pit paste, I will try that out because I've seen it at the store and I had just never thought to try it before. So while my primal pit paste is effective and it really works, and up to that point when I did that review, it was the only natural deodorant I had found that actually worked. I had tried a ton of other ones that just didn't work. You just end up stinky at the end of the day. So since then, thanks to you guys, I went and bought myself a crystal deodorant stick. And I think I need to do a review just on this stuff. Um, I've only been using it for a few weeks, so I can't, you know, speak to it in terms of long-term use. But the few weeks that I've been using it, like I've been truly surprised how well this works. And all it is, is salt. It's a huge, I can show you, but it's just like this huge, this thing is just a huge hunk of salt. All you do is you just get it wet and you put it on right after you get out of the shower on clean skin and you go on your merry way. And I, I have been truly surprised, like just a layer of salt on your skin. Um, it, I haven't gotten stinky at all and it seems to have a little bit of an antiperspirant quality to it. So... I am surprised. I So far, I've only, I haven't been using it for very long and we haven't gotten into like super hot summer months yet and I, that will be the true test of this. Um, but so far, I have been really surprised. So 
so far my impressions of this are awesome and this little hunk of salt is about seven dollars and fifty cents at the store and as they say on here it is a one-year supply so for you know seven eight bucks you get an entire year's worth of deodorant and it is so simple it is just one ingredient and that is natural mineral salt <laughs> so this is definitely you know i don't know if you guys have tried this stuff or not but i i've been pleasantly surprised by how well it works for being a one ingredient deodorant and that it's a year's supply for seven or eight bucks. <laughs> so that is definitely a way to go natural in a, an extremely affordable way. So for the last product I'm going to talk about, I'm going to combine that with the tip I told you I would mention at the end. So the tip that I have for you guys for how to shop for natural body products on a budget is to simply you know, go to a place where they sell natural body products and just see what they have on sale or wait until they advertise that they're going to have a sale and only buy body products during that time and only buy the products that are on sale. Um, if you're willing to not be overly picky about it, you can get really good deals that way. So we have a store here in the Northwest called Fred Meyer and they have everything. They have groceries. They have, it's just like everything that Target has. It's like an one-stop shopping kind of place and they have an amazing natural food and natural body products um, section there and Fred Meyer often has really amazing sales and so I when I needed to get a face cream which is what I'm showing you here I went there when they were having like 50% off on like a lot of their natural body products and I just browsed the ones that had the that sale label and I just chose one of those products. I wasn't being picky. I needed to get a face cream. I also got an eye cream as well. And this is an Alba Botanica Hawaiian Moisture Cream and um, it smells really nice. It's jasmine and vitamin E. It smells wonderful. And it's all all natural products, free of all the nasty stuff, you know, no parabens, no phthalates, no animal testing, 100% vegetarian ingredients. So I got this for like 50% off because I was willing to not be picky. I mean, obviously I'm not going to choose something that wouldn't be a good fit for my skin or that kind of thing, but if it's something that I need and can use and it's, and I wait for a sale, you can get a really good deal. So that is all I had to share for you for my most favorite, essential, and affordable body products. So just like I have my tips and tricks for how to buy natural, clean, real food affordably, this is my tips and tricks for how to get natural body products affordably because it definitely can be done. So tell me in the comments, do you guys have any great tricks for how to get natural body products affordably or do you make them yourself? I know that's another great way to do it. And I would just love to hear what your guys' journey is with that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to go on over and check out my Facebook page if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.